Hello everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2, the Divergences of Darkness mod. Now last time we played, the game crashed, which is unfortunate, but uh, this time I've set a timer. It's the first thing I did, so uh, we should be okay. The game should not crash anymore. Alright, so what do we got going on? Uh, the crash put us back a little bit, but I don't think anything major. Looks like we still have our land in India. Uh, I think we're... Where are we trying to justify a protectorate? In Harat. Got it. So, right here. Do, 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 do. So, what was I doing last time? I think I was trying to set up a system where I could quickly move troops from Europe to my... Empire in India and vice versa. Good riddance. So I need a strong navy. Uh, my navy is actually kind of substantial. But uh, we're going to go on a naval reform. And we're going to build some, uh, some commerce raiders. Mm, yeah, whatever. So I got uh, universal. Which I think I did last time I did universal. So let's do it. Everyone, everyone can vote now in my country. Everyone can vote. The end of the revolution. Broken, busted, and thrown to the sides lie the barricades, and the tricolors have stopped waving from the windowsills. The events that will be recorded by history as the Anglo-French liberal revolution of 1847 are all in the past, and it seems that we have managed to weather the storm. We pray for the fallen. There we go. We're good. Now we can go onwards with empire building. We've already captured a very strategic position from the Egyptians. The sublime porte, which is, I'm just going to call it Turkey. Uh, Turkey, the old Ottoman Empire, is insignificant now. They really have no part to play. Um, Syria has broken free, as you can see. Kurdistan has expanded, defeated the Iraqis, and become its own state, really. And now you have the Gulf, the the Arabian Peninsula. And I'll probably take over Yemen and Oman, <laughs> in all honesty. Um, just to secure the... Arabian Peninsula, or I'll make one a puppet state and then control the other one, or I'll just conquer both of them, I don't know. But that way I control a clear route to India, India. Bengal is also a civilized nation, they're in my sphere, they're my ally, they're kind of tiny. I'll probably dwarf them as a, as a nation. These guys are in the Spanish sphere of influence, so that'll be interesting to attempt to uh, to break Spain's hold. And of course, now I'm being sent a message. I was doing shit. Actually, no, I was up at like seven in the morning today. I had my computer on all day. Didn't get anyone. No one messaged me. Nothing. And uh, of course, when I sit down to do something important. You get a message. But I'll look at that in a little bit after I'm done. Isn't that uh, how it is, though? Like, like you're waiting for somebody to get somewhere. Or, like, you're waiting, like, say, like, someone's going to come and pick you up. And you're just waiting. And, like, hours pass by and they just don't show up. So you're like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to go do something. And as soon as you go to do something, they show up. Always. Always. Let's go back to Belfast. That way we can easily invade Scotland if need be. <clears throat> and take it for the dual monarchy. It'll be the triple monarchy. The triple monarchy of Scotland, England, and France. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. I was thinking, how easy could I puppet Egypt? Like, would I have to send another army? I think I might be able to pull it off with my 39,000 men. 
So we're going to take Harat, and then I'm probably going to march into Sidhe afterwards. Because I really don't look to expand into Persia, just because there's no point. Um, research technology, we'll do military plans because I get more mobilization and such. Although I think I can't mobilize too much. So let's uh, declare war, establish a protectorate. These fools, Afghanistan joined their side in the war, but that's okay. Let's see. I have nine. This should be more than enough. I might have to move, transport some troops from Egypt to India. Yeah, look at this. Look at the beautiful subcontinent. What's funny is Bajanagar does not have, like, like, India is, like, two separate continents. One ruled by the Muslims in the north, or two separate countries have claim. Like, the one the Muslims rule in the north, and the one the Hindus control in the south. I claim I want to conquer all of this, most of the Muslim north, and probably invade the southern Hindu south, and unite the nation under Angolese rule. So, let's take my fleet the first fleet. I don't know why it's called the first fleet. It should be called the uh, Indian fleet. Fleet of India. India. And we're gonna land in the Gulf of Indus. Can we fucking control this fleet? Nine. Uh, they'll be behind them. These guys are going to be stupid and sail to the Cape. They're completely annihilated by my navy as soon as they arrived under Alphonse Foray. <laughs> These names. So good. But uh, yeah, we'll invade them. Take Harat. Probably take out a bunch of these little states. The big, the big, big deal is probably dealing with uh, Punjab. The Anglo-French way. I always knew this to be true. Lose three consciousness and three months and see, that's actually pretty good. Combat medicine, army attrition, and hospitals. Done. Alright, so we should have enough supplies, yes. We are blockading them. Look at that, Karachi. Isn't Karachi that city that's like controlled by like Islamic militants in Pakistan? I could be completely wrong, but that sounds like that same city. Oh, good. Um, death in the silk fields. The cocoons reimburse them. Oh, reimburse them, why not? I'm a very powerful empire that's got a lot of money that uh, does what it can for its subjects. It's the nicest way I could put it. Alright, 24,000 men. We'll just take Bella in Baluchistan. Bila. Temperance League. Really? It's like 1840. Levertine culture. Uh, local militancy goes down. I really... Prestige-wise, I'm getting outlawed slavery and Libertine culture only add up to 0.20. So that's, a, that's basically negating sprawling empire or workshop of the world. So, I'm not too, like... I really don't care. It doesn't matter. Here in uh, in England, France, we like our alcohol. I don't think... Was Prohibition ever passed in Europe? I don't think it was. Like, like alcohol? They didn't care. Only I only know that in America it was, like, passed as a thing. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm not certain that, like, France and England and Spain and Germany and... A bunch of these other countries had like a temperance league, though I might be I might be wrong, but I cannot ever recall it being like a serious movement like it was here in the U.S. to the point where they actually like banned alcohol. All right, well, we'll 
we'll deliver these guys here. See if they'll make it. Oh good, we took it. We'll take a lot. And then Dalbadin as the last refuge. And then we'll probably wait a little bit. Get our um, war exhaustion down. And then we'll attack Siddich. They're allied with Balkanir, which is this little one province miner. That's completely not scary at all. Afghanistan probably won't fight us after this. They're too busy. They're at war with the Quechar dynasty of Persia on top of being at war with me. So, why are these guys not fighting back? Do they just not have an army? They do have an army. It's only 11, though, with their reserves mobilized. Poor Persia being conquered by the Afghans. It's okay. I'll conquer Afghanistan later. Because uh, I actually want... Afghan Herat? No, 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 no. I think I actually want Afghan Kabul. Actually, if, if I'm going to take Afghan Kabul, I might as well just take all of Afghanistan. And secure Punjab as well. So I'll take out these, like, one region miners and by region I mean like this is a region this is a region this is all a single region and you just take the miners out and then you have these one province miners one or two province miners that you can just smash take out and move on and then it comes to the bigger guys such as the Mughals who just as soon as I landed with troops or I got troops you know to them, like landing, they gave up. They just they surrendered immediately. There we go. I'll have a couple of a navy there. I have a transport navy now. We had significant losses. Not even significant losses. Less than significant losses. We'll take Harat and the war. Actually, I think Afghanistan's war, war leader. So I'll have to march into Afghanistan too, probably. The Mughals don't like me, but I really don't care. Damn the Mughals. Oh, there's that other transport. Go to Egypt. The rest of the fleet. Go to Egypt. Hmm. Huh. State administrative efficiency is actually pretty pretty good. Mm. Okay. Uh, rest, brave soldiers. What's my war exhaustion? Is it like high? Only a four. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, Afghanistan. I'm now going to invade you. The free trade party has been harmed. It's not happening, Afghanistan. I'm just gonna invade you. So I've got like seventy thousand. No. 40 and 40. Like, yes, yeah, 79,000, almost 80,000 soldiers in in uh, Egypt alone. Man, this Navy's all fucked up. Taking forever to resupply. Sure, Arabia. Are you at war with Iraq? Yep. Afghanistan, you want to, like, surrender? Yep. There's nothing I want. They peaced out. They don't want it. They don't want it, so we'll go to Bella. 
to ready for our further expeditions, 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 expeditions into India. Uh, colliery disaster. Oh no. The Great Explosion of 1848. Blame local management. Wildcat bills. Man, look at China. The Taiping have complete control of Duxi. Wow. The Japanese, still very powerful. Loyalists are in power. Yeah, they'll be good once they reach Belga. I'll probably make, uh, Sidi, capital of the, uh, thing. Afghanistan wants military access. No. Why would you want military access? Seems pointless, but alright, whatever. No military access for you, though. Is this the, uh, the regular, the London regulars? So I don't think, do I have any land in the New World? Quote unquote? I do, I have some islands. I have, uh, Saint, Saint Francis of Kent. I have Georgeville, Saint Marguerite. And that's it. Oh, look, Poland, Lithuania have Swati Ad Andrzejje, Tobago, Corland, Corland has Tobago. Really? Corland, this little duchy, which is like Livonia, has colonies. That's kind of crazy. His colonies in the New World. Saint-Jean, Caraco, owned by the <coughs> Burgundians. Fantastic news. Sure why. Burgundy owns that. Scandinavian Asgard. <laughs> they named it Asgard. Berg Post, Cape Ajeville. Or Cape Ajati, Uppersteina, and Provos, Pros, Provestian. Venice colonized Florida. And then the Spanish colonized everything that they would colonize in real history <laughs> Texas, South, uh, Southern America, you go into. Central America and Mexico, Central America and South America. So they would colonize everything that they were going to colonize to begin with. So Hawaii. Hawaii. Don't, don't the Tongans exist? They do. Tui Tonga. In the jungles of Fiji. In the little island. Their island empire. Plantagia. The all powerful nation of Plantagia. Who has slavery? The capital is New Orleans. Nouvelle Orleans. So let's see. Who else can I declare war on? And I could probably start beginning my uh, campaign here. Wow, they were defeated by the rebels. They have a legation quarter. <laughs> Justify war. Establish mm, protectorate. I should be all right. We'll have to wait a while um, if I get caught to do a next war. But the next war is probably Egypt after this. I have a truce with them until 1849, which will be up soon. And then I'll march into Egypt and just make it my puppet. I'll uh, puppet Egypt. Because why not? Because I can. And my literacy is shit. I need to do some more education. Like, I'm spending 3000 on education. Foul murder. Let's not throw allegations wildly about.
Let's uh, bring down taxes. We're doing well. Taxes on the middle class will be at 32. Let's go bring down the taxes for the rich to 25, I want to say. There we go. We're still making substantial money. All right. We need... What do we have here? I can do breech-loaded rifles. What does that give me? Better attack. So what year is it? It's not almost 1850. So let's do... We'll do some positivism... Pos, pos, positivism... I don't know. Don't know how to say it. But it gives us more colonial power points. We have... We have 793 available. Um, also gives us education admin or efficiency plus 25%, which is good. So, we go down social thought, biologism, <clears throat> get Darwinism. We can also do art, because we are avant-garde intelligent intelligentsia, which is the advancement of intelligence. So we actually get a bonus to culture tech. So this stuff researches faster. We get a 30% bonus, yes. I think uh, England in like base Victoria too has uh, the merchant marine, Navy and the merchant marine or something like that. Look at my armies, so scary, too spooky. No, oh. too spooky. Too scary. <clears throat> oh no, they found out. <laughs> I am scared. Not really. It's not terrifying at all. Uh, they're not going to be able to do anything anyway, so. <laughs> they're getting killed by rebels. Oh look, the Taiping like, seized most of southern China. Now they're at war with the Ming. The Taiping, who are actually Christian, they're like an Orthodox Catholic or something, and their goal is to create a holy kingdom in China. What you call it? Forming. I actually played off screen to form the Chinese Empire. Holy shit, is it difficult? It's so difficult to form the Chinese Empire. Like a stable Chinese Empire. I formed it and then I just got 3 billion rebels that attacked. And that was it. There was nothing you could do. Complete collapse of the empire. And it broke apart into little itty bitty pieces again. There you ship. Holy shit. They're still beating up. They're repairing over time which is good but... Still. Actually, I'm, I can get some volunteer troops. Arabia. Wow, there's like a crazy Middle Eastern war going on right now. Let's look what's going down. Holy shit, it's kind of crazy right now. So, Arabia is actually at war with the Hejaz, Iraq, Turkey, and Afghanistan. But they're also allied with the Safrids, Qajar, and Syria. This entire region is at war. The Safrids, the Syrians, and the Arabians are all attacking Turkey. Iraq, Hejaz, and Afghanistan are attacking Arabia. Syria and the Safrids are attacking... Oh my god, it's crazy. The only country that's not at war is Kurdistan in the middle. It's an oasis of peace. And this region is just at war right now. It's okay, I'll go in. I'll fix this matter personally. I'll annex Yemen and Oman bring stability to the region. If not, I'll crush them with my armies, you know. <laughs> Typical colonial shit. So, they're trying to demand a concession. I'm establishing a protectorate as soon as this goes live. There it is. Allow annexation, declare war, seize it, let's go. There's nothing they can do. Their navy's not strong enough. Their capital is under siege by rebels. So, uh, cash reserves are going down because we're pumping money into the military. So, we're going to boost tariff a little bit. 
by 1%, the 1% tariff makes all the difference. I should also start building up my armies inside of my, uh, my nation. Let us kill them all. Up oh, there's the army of this of Sidich. Sindich. Won't matter. My army's way too strong. We slaughtered. Oh, we're slaughtering them. Look, they're losing 655 men every day. I'm losing like 10, 13, 12. So it's very, very dis uh, disproportional. The loss is kind of crazy. Look, a thousand men in a day. It's crazy. Thanks. I'll just take over the occupation. I mean, they're pretty much occupied already. This army's got no... The army of the Emir has got no supplies, so we're just going to march in and smash them to hell. And we're going to take this region for ourselves. Hail for the dual monarchy of England, France, and Ireland. The upper house has been rearranged. It's good, I guess. Oh, it's a slaughter. They all died. It's over. Good war. Well fought. I win. I don't even have to move my navies. I don't have to do anything with them. So we have rebels. The French rib liberation movement. French nationalist. Hardy har har. Ha ha ha. I'm too powerful for that. And I've already stated the uh, in the beginning of the game in the middle ground, so we are we are kings of France and England, or in England and France, whatever you know combination you'd like. Ah shit! I never got to colonize that side. Get to colonize this. Go here, here. Yep. Where's the colonization map mode? There it is. Oop. <laughs> All right. Colonize uh, Australia because I can. No real reason. Just because, 1850, time to colonize Australia. I have the uh, power to do so. I'm number one overall in the world. This is great. This is good. This is good. Look, see, they can't do anything. Their navy's just floating around. They don't know what to do. They're shitting themselves. They're scared. We already won the war. That eight military strength comes from their navy. Four ships. Anglo-French libertines. Um, I'm reading it, sorry. Whatever, I don't care. That's fine. I'll take the whatever non-colonialism um, consciousness. The Qajar dynasty, I don't know why they're asking for military access. They've been at war forever. They're not, they're, <laughs> they're going to be at war forever. There's nothing you guys can do. You're stuck in an endless war. The Afghans have failed to take that several times. Oh, look. An army that might be substantial. Army of the Maharaja of Binnaker. Which is these guys. How the hell? They must have marched through Punjab. The Punjab to here. That's the only way I've seen it. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll capture this territory and then kill them. So who are the great powers? I haven't looked in a while. So, of course, the dual monarchy on top, Burgundy, is number two. Uh, Bohemia is number three. Scandinavia is number four. Fifth is Spain. Wow, Spain's still great power. Aragon is number six. Number seven is Bavaria. And then the eighth is the Japanese Empire. So a newcomer on the world stage is uh, the Japanese. They have a massive empire, actually. 
Their empire doesn't stretch around the globe, but it is massive. Oh, you want surrender? Okay. That was an easy war. Beautiful. Alright, I have pieces of India. Putting it together. It's like a puzzle. Putting the continent together. Beautiful. Alright, so it'll be a while before I can declare war again. Oh, the world's fair, yes. Splendid idea. Now, if I were to make a puppet that is seven, I'd actually be out of the... If I wanted to do it. The Mughal Empire. Sure. Who are they at war with? Bengal and the Punjab. Huh. Really? You can't even knock Bindal Bengal down a peg for me so that they're easier to take over? Actually, they kind of have. They have like, kind of like huge armies in the south. Bengal's got a 67 man, 67,000 man army. And they're at war. <laughs> Bengal's at war with two countries. They're at war with Burma, and they're at war with the Mughals at the same time. That's crazy. I'll have to move more soldiers into, um... I'll have to move more soldiers into India. Once I build the Suez, I need to move troops into India. More than 24,000 that I have now. Let's get some, uh... Actually, let's get one of those. We'll get a mobile artillery and a light cap. We'll get the very first of the, uh, what are they called? The sepoys? The very first sepoys. Sepoys, Gurkhas, Trail. Was it Trail? Trail yours? Something like that? They're all the same. They're colonial troops that fight for their, their colonial overlord. Uh, World's Fair. Oh no, we were not selected. Boycott it. No, fuck that. I'll, I'll go anyway. It's just across the border in Aragon. I mean, I know they don't like me because I was at war with them. I kind of killed a lot of their men. But you know, whatever. Bygones be bygones. Also, I'm still very powerful. I'm the greatest power in the world. Actually, I'm only I'm the second greatest military power in the world. Who's the greatest? Gotta be like China, right? Yep. With their mo with their reserves mobilized, I could still beat them technologically. My troops are superior to theirs. Just their numbers alone could deal me uh, significant damage. There's another army. Perfect getting the first of our sepoys, which is good. These guys are from Santa Elizabeth. Let's, uh... They're undermanned, so... Ooh, these guys are soldiers. They're nationalists. Damn you. Nationalists. They don't have enough power to take me... To take... This region. Let's, uh, immediately... Do bureaucrats here. Also do bureaucrats here. Or not, that's, that's clergymen. It's not bureaucrats. There we go. Let's uh, create the bureaucracy needed to uh, to hold down a colonial empire. Do, do, do. Okay, these are more sepoys. Jacques Bolungar. Sure, Turkey. I'll help you. Even though you're getting smashed by the Safrids. Who are what? They're Persian? Actually, this is more like the Empire of Azerbaijan. More than like... Yeah. They're not. They're not. They're actually Azerbaijani. Azerbaijan is like a small little country, like right here. Uh, Afghanistan, sure, whatever, I don't care. Iraq's being smashed. They're being smashed by the Persians. Oh good, create a protectorate. 
one there. Let's create one there. We'll create a colony here. And create a protectorate here. And then create a colony on top of it. And then we can do one here soon. There it is. Create a protectorate. Colonize. Right, this region, yeah, the life rating is lower. So look at that. French, Anglo French Zhao Rao. How many of these are Aborigine? Malagan? Malagan? Zhao Rao? Workshop of the World again. Oh, there are, there are Aborigines over in this part. Beautiful. The sepoys, get more of them. We should be okay. I'm more than content to let this Indian war play out, in all honesty. Because uh, if these guys get weaker, let's say the Mughals, Bengal, uh, Tungu, and the Taiping fight each other to the death, and their armies get super weakened, just means it's easier for me to come in with my small amount of troops and take over whatever I want in that particular, in this uh, region, in the subcontinent. So I'm more than content to let them fight it out. Let Bengal fight against the, the might of the Taiping, who have a ridiculous army on par with mine that is able to, like, reach them. And I'm more than happy. New ideology in Savoy, state and government. I think we get an event when we do state and government. Uh, we get to construct Italy, don't we? Yeah. Have invented state and government. Savoy's invented state and government. Aragon and Burgundy don't like me. Savoy changes influence with Savoy changes by 400. Savoy gets the Avanti Italia event. So we get to construct Italy. So they become Italy and the countries that want to become Italy We'll join it. So, I have pretty good relations with every country in the Italian peninsula. Pretty stable relations. All right, though, we're going to. I'm going to end this part. I'm going to wrap it up here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next time we play. We will get state and government. We will construct Italy, which means we'll have a shitload of wars that Savoy will drag me into to conquer the Italian peninsula, unify it under one government for the first time in forever. We'll also uh, look to conquer Egypt. I think that's probably our next go-to is to uh, puppet Egypt and bring it under the banner of the dual monarchy for the kings of France and uh, England. So... Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, stay tuned.